Hey, this is Steve Schenken, and I wish I could be there with you at the Battle of the Books today, but I have a school visit, so that's where I am. And I just wanted to use this opportunity instead to say hi, and I hope you have an amazing day. I love this event so much. And also to tell you a little bit about my new book, which hopefully could be a part of this event someday. I think you guys might really like it. It's called Undefeated. Jim Thorpe and the Carlisle Indian School football team. And like the title kind of suggests, it's a sports book. It's this amazing underdog sports story about this football team at a school called Carlisle, which probably nobody has ever heard of. It was a Native American boarding school that was in Pennsylvania, a really small school. What's amazing about this story is that they formed a football team in the early days of football, when football was really rough and violent, even more dangerous and violent than it is today. And they formed this team, and even though they had this tiny school and no field to play on, no coach, no uniforms, they decided they weren't just going to be a team, they were going to become the best team in the country, which meant taking on the biggest, richest colleges of the time, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, some of you guys may want to go to those schools someday. And now everyone thinks of them as great academic schools, and they always have been, but back then they were also the best football teams. So people laughed at Carlisle to think, you're going to take on Harvard and try to beat Harvard? That's crazy. But they did. And this is the story of not only how they tried to do it, but they actually accomplished it and became the best team in the country. And part of it was that they had great players, including Jim Thorpe, who's the main character in the book. And he happened to be, by the time he got to the school and got into his late teens, early 20s, the best athlete in the world. But when he shows up there, he's the skinny teenager and uh, nobody knows he's any good at anything. And I'll just tell you one story about him that kind of epitomizes what's so great and cool about him because he was really quiet and nobody realized he had all this talent. So he was a skinny kid. He wasn't on any teams yet. And one day he's walking across campus wearing work boots and overalls and he sees the track team practicing and they're trying to do the high jump. You know that event where there's a bar and you try to run up and jump over the bar without knocking it down. And it was about six feet high and Jim is watching them and nobody can do it. They keep knocking the bar down, so they're about to give up. And Jim says, hey, let me give it a try. And everyone laughed at him. But he knew. He knew he could do it. And so he kind of backs up in his work boots now, which I think would make a great scene in a movie. And he runs up in his boots to the bar and just jumps over it. And then picks up his stuff and walks away laughing. And that was kind of classic. That was the way he did it. He wasn't a big trash talker. But of course, the track coach heard about that. He joined the track team. And then later, found out about this football team and decided to join that too. And the coach did not want him. He said, you're too skinny, you're, a good, at, you're good at track, you're fast, but you'll never survive in football. And the very first scene in the book is the story of how he joined the team, how he tried out. And he had this jaw-dropping tryout. And so he becomes a great player and they become a great team. And part of the reason, aside from having great athletes, is that they were super smart too. They had to be because they didn't have a lot of players or resources like these big rich schools. So they did these amazing trick plays. And now I want to demonstrate one to you. And this is going to be really good. Because normally, I feel really stupid just talking into a camera, so I got my kids to help me. Anna is behind the camera. Say hello. Hi. She's in fifth grade, like a lot of you guys. You might see her around. And my son in second grade, David, is going to help me with this play. So come on onto the field, David. He's going to bring a ball, and we're going to show you one of Carlisle's great trick plays. I think it's the best trick play in the history of football. They always played Harvard every year and they always lost, uh, but they always dreamed of beating Harvard University. It would be the biggest upset in the history of sports. So they came up with these plays and this is one of the ones they did that became really famous and I love it. And we happen to have a ball here, not exactly regulation size, but it'll work. And so David and I, we're going to be the Carlisle team and we came up with this play in practice. And as a matter of fact, David is this big burly blocker, as you can see. He's the biggest dude on the field, so nobody expects him to have the ball. And Harvard is kicking off. This is one of those kickoff plays at the beginning of the second half. So they kick it off deep, 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 all the way to our goal line. And I'm like the speedy return guy. And I catch the ball, and my big blocker turns around to block for me. And just as the defense is coming down, and the crowd's going crazy, and everybody's focused on me because I have the ball. But before anyone can see, with all the blockers crowded around me, I take the ball, I go like this, really fast, shove it up the back of the blocker in front of me, and I run forward like this as if I have the ball, so then all the Harvard guys jump on me and start pounding me and tackling me and everything, and nobody notices the blocker, who doesn't look like he has anything, he's looking for someone to block, and they're all running out of his way, so he's running down the field, 
And from the front, he looks like a blocker, very fierce and tough. But from the side, something's very strange that he's got this giant hump in his back. So the crowd can see that, and they start laughing and going crazy. Even though they're all Harvard fans, they thought it was really funny. But the team, the opposing team, couldn't see it. So they got out of his way, and he ran all the way for this touchdown and scored. And it became this really famous play. And it was just an example of, of the fact that they were... They had this great spirit and this great intelligence that they played with. And even when they didn't win, they were the most fun team to watch. But in the years that Jim Thorpe got there later, they would go on to, it was kind of a spoiler alert, but they would go on to beat Harvard and everybody that they would play. Like I said, I think it's the most exciting sports story I've come across. And so I'm really excited to tell it. And thank you very much for being an player with me. That was really fun. And again, guys, I hope you have a great day and maybe I'll see you next year. Thanks.